Welcome to Artful Teaching, Joyful Learning. My name is Alana and I help educators like you teach your kids important academics through a blend of wonder, play, and the arts, the way kids were naturally designed to learn. Now today I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial on how you can make these DIY kid-made rainbow mobiles that can hang in your learning space to bring color and texture and interest into your space. I was originally inspired by this Pinterest image from Reggio Children Inspired. And when my girls discovered their fascination with rainbows that led us into a whole month long inquiry into rainbows, I thought this was the perfect collaborative art piece to hang in our learning space. Now, before we begin, be sure to download your joy sheets. Those are the companion printables that support the learning in this invitation to create. You can find the link to your joy sheets below this video. Let's get ready to start our tutorial on kid made DIY rainbow mobiles. Now, one of the reasons I love this invitation to create so much is that it weaves in all kinds of learning connections across the curriculum. In math, we have sorting and patterns. Children develop their fine motor skills and practice problem solving and teamwork. Now, I am a big fan of child made inspiration to up level your space. Number one, it's a super inexpensive way to bring color and texture and interest in your space. But most importantly, it sends a strong message that we value our children as artists. Now some examples of child-made inspiration include this kid-made number line using a watercolor tape resist method, these family mobiles that hang so proudly in our learning space, these yarn-wrapped branches that turned into magical texture trees. Now I love to start an invitation to create with a really great children's book. There's a ton of great children's literature all about rainbows. You need to just go and visit your public library to explore. To begin the invitation, gather up the following. Dollar store beads, pom-poms, some pre-cut felt circles, any kind of loose parts, wire, a pair of scissors, some paper plates for sorting, and of course your branch. I love using driftwood. Begin by inviting your child with some prompts about sorting. You might say to your child, there's lots of ways we can sort our beads. What are some ways you can sort? They might suggest materials, by shape, by color, or size. Now tell them that today we will sort by color. We'll work together to sort the beads into all the colors of the rainbow. Another way to weave in some math learning is by playing with patterns. You might invite your child to copy or extend or create their own patterns using the beads. Now once your beads and loose parts are sorted by color, it's time to build your mobile. Now offer your child a section of wire that's about two to three feet long. You can crimp the ends so that the beads don't slide off. Now if wire is a new medium for your child, be sure to go over some ground rules with the language of wire how it's pokey and bendy, and what other words can your child come up with. Now when it comes to actually putting the mobile together, you might offer your child that we are a community of learners with different strengths and abilities and talents and interests. We're gonna make a rainbow mobile to show off just how different and unique each of us are, just like the colors of a rainbow. Now if you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe share with your fellow educators and come on over and follow me over on Instagram and Facebook where I share daily inspiration and ideas for educators like you.